we have our orange cyber and commander with the name of hope who's also opening up with one air factory it's just like i said yesterday hope just scares the living bejesus out of me and cyber cyber is annoying i think cyber can edge out a win especially if hope is at the wheel driving it he's doing a marvelous job just pulling out of range of those sailing class looks like uh, this is a very hard position to push though but he does manage to pick up all of, most of those point defenses and a Land factory. That army is melting for unknown. Oh my god, you can just see how good of a player Hope is. He healed it just enough so that that second volley on the mobile missile launcher would not kill it. And then he started the air factory production. And that, Very good, Mike Brown. This is why Hope's here. There is engagement all over the place. Looks like. Hope definitely won the bottom. There's just so many shields here. Hope doing a wonderful job microing everywhere on the map. Nope, it was jump jets. That was what I was suspecting here. There's a jump jet straight onto the commander of iron. And iron is just melting away. Those P shields are completely out of position. Beautifully played by Hope. He is also going jump jets. That's what he's going for. He isn't going for megaliths. You don't need megaliths when you've got jump jets and detonation. Beautiful detonation. They're taking out a half of the army. Magnarai is taking a lot of fire from those loyalists and he goes down. Wow. Youngshot brings back his uh, air. He's going to try to snipe off uh, Hope here, but Hope upgrades uh, Honker. That is what makes players great. However, Hope is doing a marvelous job taking his ACU right in front of this point defense maximizing its utility and we see that here as an engagement is coming in these uh gemini's are going to try and bomb some planes but again there's just so much anti-air i think this is the end for little row and in fact we do see her control k yeah and uh Mogenra gets completely overrun here and Mogenra is going to go down hope is not low enough so this is going to be a win for hope two to zero hope moves on to the final three bots are gonna try and sneak in here in the top another mechs goes down for unknown that is huge yep and the army from unknown has been gone his acu is in the red and that is going to be game two ladies and gentlemen be a nice pickoff on this mass extractor and hope has more bots here as well oh a massive engagement in the center that's more what that's I that's uh that's how that is happens. that is beautiful yeah. let's see how hope handled that Unit detonate on the left, another teleport coming out. Trying his best to take out that megalith, not quite working out. And yeah, that's that's a big army uh, portion of unknown. Uh, it's uh, a little bit more shorter as unknown does for the okay here. That Tsykata is going to go down and that is actually, oh my god. No, it is not. Made it out with about 600 health there. That is quite insane. And that has kept the advantage back just a little bit uh, weak here. And there was a nuclear missile launch very well placed by Hope, taking out a lot of Iron's uh, megaliths over here. And now there's a little bit of a pincer movement where Iron is just going to get crushed on both sides. And it looks like Iron Commander is going to indeed GG here. The gunships, it's hard to tell how many there are, but I imagine it's at least 10 in that mix. A lot of them are starting to go down though. There's a lot of them in red and uh, there's just a lot of anti-air for Hope. This is, might not be a very good idea for Alphex. Oh, did Alphex get, oh no, um, that's it. Boom, down goes Alpha Hex 